welcome back this is balajendran with you we are moving on to the next section of the first module that is part 4 which says about the software engineering models so the syllabus contains these things that is the predictive predictive software engineering tools uh model approaches prerequisite for any model then comes the predictive and adaptive waterfall waterfall with feedback shashmi model then incremental waterfall v model then prototypes and prototyping models out of which all these are different variations of waterfall models and this is a different model which talks about how we can rapidly develop a product in this part we are dealing with only these three four, four to five things that is the what is meant by a process model what are the different model approaches and what are the prerequisites required for <coughs> selecting a model and two models we will be discussing in general this is the general form of model representation this is the general mode of uh, model representation these are the major means these are the contents that we will discuss in this particular video now what do you mean by a process we already know that a process is a set of activities actions and tasks that is the required to build high quality software so here we have major things that is the major activities that are to be taken place within the activities what are the different actions required and within the actions what are the tasks that are required for example nammal ipo parayunu requirement gathering ennu parayunu requirement gathering eduthal adil different actions ഏതൊക്കെയാണ് എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ആദ്യത്തേത് കളക്ടിംഗ് ദി ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ദെൻ ഈ കളക്ടിംഗ് ദി ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ എടുത്താൽ അതിൽ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടാസ്കുകളുണ്ട് അതായത് കണ്ടക്ടിംഗ് പേഴ്സണൽ ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂസ് ഗിവിംഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റിനേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് റിപ്ലേസ് റിവ്യൂ ഓഫ് റെക്കോർഡ് അങ്ങനെ പലതരത്തിലുള്ള സ്റ്റെപ്പുകൾ നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ നമുക്കുണ്ടാവും അപ്പം അതാണ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ആക്ഷൻസ് and different tasks for what purpose for getting a high quality software nammada purpose ithre ullu producing a high quality software with minimum time and minimum cost ithrayum karyangal namukku nokkendathayittund so our aim is to prepare a product of high quality within a limited time and with very less cost രണ്ട് തരത്തിലുള്ള പ്രോസസ്സുകൾ നമ്മൾ പറയാറുണ്ട് നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ തന്നെ പ്രോഡക്റ്റുകളെ കുറിച്ച് പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ജനറിക് പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് കസ്റ്റമൈസ്ഡ് പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് പക്ഷെ നമ്മളുടെ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോസസ്സിലേക്ക് എത്തുമ്പോൾ വി ഹാവ് ഓൺലി ജനറിക് പ്രോസസ് ജനറലി ഹൗ എ പ്രോസസ് ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് വിൽ ബി ഒന്ന് ത്രീ സോറി ഫൈവ് ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ആർ റിക്വയർഡ് അഞ്ച് ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടത് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ടിപ്പ് നമ്മൾ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ഒരു ഫ്രെയിം വർക്കാണ് നമ്മളുടെ പ്രോസസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദേർ ആർ ഫൈവ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഒന്ന് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇസ് പ്ലാനിങ് തേർഡ് ഇസ് മോഡലിംഗ് ഫോർത്ത് ഇസ് ദ കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ദി ഡിപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ദിസ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ദി എസ് ഡി എൽ സി പ്രോസസ് then apart from this we have a set of umbrella activities this which we have already discussed in the first unit what is software engineering first one is project tracking and control where we have already discussed that how the project can be tracked different monitoring measures and if any monitoring measures is going out of control how we can bring back the project then risk management that is any kind of unexpected events that comes to the project how you will manage so that is the second set of activities required second set of uh, umbrella activities required then the quality assurance because our 
idea is to generate a pro or software which is of high quality. So what are the different quality measures that we have to look into? That is the quality assurance. Then configuration management. How your product should be configured? What do you mean by configured? Karnam, namukka e namalda thenne sushta thinte palle version egal onda ba. Angane orla palle version sil e du version ana namla namalda sushta kudkan vendi ubeyogi kinnda the end orla oru representation ana configuration management thendu parayam. Then we have different technical reviews to find out what are the major things happened, how our project is moving on, how our process will uh, execute. All these things will be discussed in the technical review. Then all these things will be applied throughout the process. So the process contains a set of framework activities as well as a set of umbrella activities. Then. Whenever you are talking about a process, we should require a process flow. So, what is this process flow defines? It describes how the framework activities and the actions and tasks that occur within each framework activity are organized with respect to sequence of time. So, this is the major part, sequence of time. So, the how the activities, actions and tasks are sequenced with time. In which sequence it has to happen and in what time it has to happen. Normally, this we will call as the process flow. Process flow. Normally, we can get it from the, uh, what we can say, the data flow diagram. In the data flow diagram, normally we will have a process flow because that will give you which kind of process will happen and if you come into a particular process how the process will flow generally data flow will discuss how the data will will flow but the data will flowing through the process so definitely there will be a process flow will be available this is the picture of uh, process flow diagrams we have different types of process flows. One is linear process flow. This is one is linear process flow. What do you mean by linear process flow? Because linear process flow will happen one at a time. One process, then the second, then the third, like that. Each step has its own time frames. So first you have to conduct the communication process. After getting the communications, you have to go for the plan. Then you have to go for the modeling. Then finally, you have to go for the development that is called the coding and testing process. And finally, you will deploy the process that is called deployment that is making the system operational. So this can happen in a sequence only. Why that is why it is called a linear process. Second is an iterative process. Iterative means within the process, we will have n number of repetitions. So here you just look at, look into it. Communication and planning will have a certain set of what we call it as a review process. So we will have a communication based on that you will make a plan. If there are any change comes after the plan, we will go back to the communication and communicate the plan. Then they will, there will be some kind of changes. The changes will be included in the plan. Then we will go into the model. So when you are modeling, based on the different aspects of your project, you will dif different kinds of modeling will be make, made into. So one model has been created, then you will evaluate it, then find that this model is not suitable. Then you will go for the another model or the model itself will be repeating in different construction processes. Then you come to the construction. So construction will happen. So once the construction will happen, it will go for testing. So once it will go for testing, another set of requirements will come. So again, it comes to the communication. And finally, when all these processes will complete, then you will get your product. That product will be deployed. So this is the iterative process. Then we will have the evolutionary process. Evolutionary process means you will have an initial stage. We call it as an initial stage then you will have 
different intermediate stages or intermediate stages. So many intermediate stages will be there. So once all these intermediate stages will complete, you will get into a final, you will get into a final stage or final product. So this is called evolutionary process. So you come to the initial, you will have a set of things. These set of things will be executed by the users and they will give you different set of comments different set of comments and that comments will again and again put it in this particular different stages and finally when all these things will be completed your changes will be completed you will get a final stage so this final product will be deployed that is what it shows first the communication comes into your system it go for plan you will have the initial plan then you will have the initial model, then you will construct it, then that will be deployed. So that means the first part of your program or product will be released. Then you will take, you will come to the communication, take the second iteration, that is the second one, again plan it, model it, then construct it, deploy it you would deploy when you are deploying it you will make a change that is called a p1 plus your i1 that is you will deploy it the second increment as a combined one so that means now the user can use the old p1 along with the new i1 then take the i2 likewise you will have different set of evolutions that is the reason why it is called evolutionary process. Now the next one is the parallel process. Parallel process means so many things can happen simultaneously except construction and develop deployment. See, except construction and deployment because once you finalize the model, then only the construction will happen. So parallel things will happen between the communication planning and modeling phases so all these things will combine uh, happen together and your construction and deployment will be on a sequential model so this is the parallel process flow now next comes to model approaches how you can approach a model or you can how you can select a model there are various models are available so software process model represents the order in which the activities of software development will be undertaken. Apa nama lo para ina? I software development ni le nama lo para nyuk sorai set of korai set of framework activities onda. Adi nulil korai actions onda. Adi nulil korai task gol onda. Iden ni ellyan kodi noka mandate to korai ambarla activities on the how all these activities will be ordered that is called creating an order is called a model or model approach creating a model how you are creating a model model means a particular structure model means a structure so how you are creating a structure that is called a process or a, a software process <clears throat> then because if you arrange things in a different form then it will take an another model there are various models for the development of software so we have a number of models available each model has its own set of rules so every model has to follow their own rules and it is having a set of philosophies means different set of practices and it is having certain important principles so it every model has a rule it has a practice and it has a principle so based on this only it will work this is what the model approaches now we will come to the different models that approaches first one is the perspective model what do you mean by a perspective model so perspective models 
have been applied to bring order and structure of the software development. So here you have to find out a structure. Namka would have a structure when you a structure create order and structure create in the mechanism on a perspective prescriptive perspective la prescriptive so that means it is having a prescriptive prescriptive means something written in a structure each of these models suggest a somewhat a different process flow so idile oro nam in the perspective process models you can have different process flow process flows pala tarathilulla process flows ningalku onnu cheyarkan pattu but all perform the same set of generic framework activities. So you cannot make any changes on the generic activities. That we have seen already. We have seen already. We have seen already. Parallel mechanism, the iterative, evolutionary, then sequential linear model. Like the different set of perspectives, prescriptions can be given. Define a prescribed set of process elements. One set of process elements. That is already prescribed. One prescribed set of process elements. So the process elements. What are the elements you are going to use? That will be prescribed. And a predictable process flow. That means you have to be very clear that what is your process flow and how it should happen. For example, I am saying my first state is requirement analysis and software specification then second i will go for design then i will go for programming or we call it as coding then we will go for testing and then go for integration and then go for deployment or system test and then deployment this is the way i am going to prescribe my model and i have a specific process flow so it says it is prescriptive because they prescribe a set of process elements activities actions tasks work products quality assurance mechanisms and change control mechanisms in this if any changes occurs how the changes will be incorporated that also should be mentioned so that is why it is called a prescriptive process model then second is the sequential process model such as waterfall and v model are the oldest software engineering paradigm so we call it as sequential we call it as a sequential process flow. Why we call it as a sequential? Means all these activities which we are designing should be in a sequence. Those, this should be the first, this should be the second, and this should be the third. Like that you have to say these things will happen in a sequence. Without completing one, you cannot go to two. So before, a sta a before one particular process starts, process means an activity starts, the previous activity has to be completed. That is the pro sequential process model. It's such a linear process flow. I, I think there is no more re explanations required. A linear means there should be, it should be in line with the previous one. And is often inconsistent with modern realities. So this is not accepting any modern realities. This modern reality is basically that is called continuous change. See generally the users have a behavior that they always look for change. In the Puranangandu, you have to make this also in your system. Sequential model that is not possible because you have already fixed what are the things to be done. Then that only has to be done. If you want to do the next thing, you can start from the sequential model again with the change. Then evolving systems. Evolving system means you start with something and end up with something. You will that is called evolutionary systems so that means you will have you have started with some uh, requirements and you completed it and executed it 
then you find okay some changes as observed some changes observed what you will do you will modify this then execute it then see change then it will repeat like this repeat this is called evolving systems then tight timelines if your time is very specific that is limited time then you cannot go for this particular process model because here we require a model called rapid development models rapid development models Apo, e rapid development models they have applicability in situations where the requirements are well defined and stable so all it should be well defined and it should be stable means it cannot change stable means it cannot change so there is no changes in requirements allowed for sequential process models then next is the incremental model it is an iterative in nature and produce working version of software quite rapidly so that means you can if you have a set of requirements part of it can be done then take the next part then take the next part like that you can this will be one version this will be the other version this will be the third version like that you can go for different versions of your software and finally when you take v1 and v2 plus v3 you will get the entire product so this is the incremental process model here the advantage is you don't have to get all the requirements simultaneously in part by part you can get the requirements then next is the evolutionary process model which is iterative incremental in nature of most software projects and are designed to accommodate changes so in an evolutionary model which we have just discussed that you have an initial stage then you have intermediate stages then you have a final stage in this case in the final the first stage whatever you know can be used then you can in the intermediate stages you can add everything and finally after changes you can get the final product so that means you will be able to accommodate different changes uh, the an example of evolutionary model is prototyping and sequential model it produces incremental work products that is incremental means part of your requirement can be done first then the rest can be splitted and executed or developed that is why it is called work pa, incre, produce incremental work products incremental work products means part of development is allowed these models can be adopted to apply across all software engineering aspect from concept development to long-term system maintenance because everything will be seen as different parts small small units are taken it will be considered as small small units of the work so it can uh, span across concept to maintenance that means all the activities you can apply on part by part then concurrent process model we call it as parallel model where iterative and concurrent elements of the process models that is certain process can be combined together or it can be it is not compulsory that it should be on a sequence you can do it in parallel uh, that means simultaneously you can do certain uh, processes activities and another model is called the unified process it is called a use case driven architecture centric iterative and incremental iterative means you can run it in part a repetitive parts here you can deliver one and then develop the next like that another one is called the use case driven what do you mean by use case use case means use means different set of actions and case means the user or we call it as a role or we call it as an actor so it's an actor and action based representation 
so a set of actors actor acting on actions so every case you can get different cases or different set of actions and or different case of uses and who uses this case this is called a role based development we can call it in that way also and it should be architecture centric because whenever you are taking a set of actions and actors you should have a specific architecture to be developed adine inna architecture undayirikanam ennu nammal parayarund that is by that is why it is called architecture centric then this called uml methods and tools uml means unified modeling unified modeling ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇതിനെ പറയുന്നത് യൂണിഫൈഡ് മോഡലിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് മോഡിഫൈഡ് മോഡിഫൈഡ് യൂണിഫൈഡ് മോഡലിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ഹാവ് എ യൂണിഫൈഡ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ബേസിക്കലി ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ഡിസൈൻ ആൻഡ് പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഒ ഒ ഡി ഒ ഒ എ ഒ ഒ ഡി ആൻഡ് ഒ ഒ പി ഒ ഒ എ ഒ ഒ ഡി ആൻഡ് ഒ ഒ പി എന്നുള്ള ഈ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷനിലാണ് ഇത് നമ്മൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കാറുള്ളത് ഇത് മൂന്ന് പേരുടെ പേരിലാണ് പറ അറിയപ്പെടുക ബൂച്ച് ഐവർ ജേക്കബ്സൺ ആൻഡ് റാംബാക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ മൂന്ന് പേരുടെ ഒബ്ജക്ട് ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻസിനെ യൂണിഫൈഡ് ആക്കിയതാണ് യൂണിഫൈഡ് മോഡലിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്ന് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലാസ് ഡയഗ്രാംസ് സീക്വൻസ് ഡയഗ്രാംസ് മുതലായ സംഗതികളൊക്കെയാണ് അതിൽ നമ്മൾ പറയാറുള്ളത് ദെൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് മോഡൽ ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ദ ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് മോഡൽ ഇസ് കോൾഡ് എ ജയിൽ മോഡൽ ദിസ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് വി ഹാവ് ടു കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അലവ് എ പ്രോജക്ട്സ് ഗോൾ ടു ചേഞ്ച് ഓവർ ടൈം അതായത് ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സംഗതി ആ പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ മാറാം ആ മാറ്റത്തെ കൂടി നമ്മൾ ഉൾക്കൊള്ളിക്കുന്ന ഒരു മെക്കാനിസമാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കസ്റ്റമർ നീഡ്സ് സോ പ്രോജക്ട് ഗോൾ ഇസ് ടു ചേഞ്ച് ഓവർ ടൈം ടു ട്രാക്ക് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കസ്റ്റമർ നീഡ്സ് so whenever a customer is asking for a change that has to be incorporated it combines iterative and incremental model as usual this includes iterative and iterative and incremental approaches incremental and approaches is the major attraction and idu run cheyunnadina there are four core values and 12 principles നാല് കോർ വാല്യൂസും പന്ത്രണ്ട് കോർ പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾസും പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾസിലും വാല്യൂസിലുമാണ് ആര് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എജൈൽ മോഡൽ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇൻ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് കംസ് ഡൗൺ ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ദെൻ പ്രീ റിക്വസിറ്റ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് പ്രീ റിക്വസിറ്റ് മീൻസ് വെൻ എവർ യു വോണ്ട് ടു യൂസ് എ മോഡൽ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ തിങ്സ് യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ മോഡൽ പ്രോപ്പർലി whichever model you are going to use you should have a clear understanding of the model that is called before start using a particular model everyone in the team has to understand the model properly this is not this is a teamwork so all the team members should know about the model second is agreements on rules and procedures everyone needs to agree on what the rules are and what procedures will use to make such rules uh, sure make sure the rules are followed so you have certain set of rules and procedures are allocated our rules and procedures ningal follow cheyunnundu enna ellavarum agree cheyyan venam everyone needs to agree on what rules are and what procedures we will use appo there are a set of rules and set of procedures adil ninnu edokka rules aanu edokka procedures aanu nammal use cheyan pogunnathu ennu oru theermanam undakanam adodoppam thanne adu ensure cheyyan venam endana adu follow cheyunnundu ennu ensure cheyyan venam then major factors look into when selecting an approach so while selecting an approach you have to look into these factors one is requirements of the project whether your requirements can be achieved in a particular process 
നിങ്ങൾ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സ് വഴി നിങ്ങളുടെ എല്ലാ റിക്വയർമെൻസും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് എൻഡ് പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഓർ വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ബി ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഫൈനലി യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് ക്യാൻ വി ഗീവ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ഐട്രേറ്റീവ് മോഡൽ ഓർ ക്യാൻ ബി ഗീവ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ സ്മോൾ സ്മോൾ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ വിച്ച് മോഡൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു സെലക്ട് ഓർ യു കനോട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗീവ് ഇറ്റ് എവറിങ് ടുഗെദർ ദെൻ വാട്ട് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് മോഡൽ വി ഹാവ് ടു ലുക്ക് ഫോർ ദെൻ ദ പാസ്റ്റ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് of the project team with the methodology whatever model you are going to select the methodology is used by model is any past experience is required or not if no past experience is there then you have to learn it then feedback on the work done what is the repetition ana the last one is a repetition so feedback on the work done what is the feedback you have completed so these are the uh, major feedback on work done previously what are the things you have done in previous project so how it has happened that has to be understood then second next is the two models that we have discussed one is predictive model and second is the adaptive model so what is a predictive model predictive development model predict in advance what needs to be done and go out so predictive development means you have to predict in advance and what we need to be done and go out to execute it so what needs to be done so you are everything to be defined that is what we call it as it should be well defined whatever you are doing that will be well defined based on pack pack past experience it is easy to predict the time to build so if you have a project which is already completed there you will have the time build what is the time required to build that you can understand it is often hard to predict exactly what a software application needs to do this is called a change eppozhum namukku innathu mathrame cheyyan pattu ennalengi innathu mathrame cheyyunnullu ennu namukku parayan pattilla sometimes customer may need some kind of changes and how we build it ahead of time before time idine cheyyan pattumo okay if there is no change can we do it in before time sometimes may not be familiar with the new programming tool because where where sometimes you may not we may not be able to get the programming tool they see mo- most of the cases we have to use different set of tools the familiarity with these tools is very essential when you are using a predictive model in changing business situations customers needs also change as time goes so in these conditions we may not be able to predict the exact need so that is the problem with the predictive model because we have to have a very predicted results what we have to do that should be identified then predictive models are primarily because they give a lot of structure to a project so this help you to give a structure it is empirical software empirical means there are certain proofs that will be available the goal of such methods is repeatable and refutable that is which can be improvable results so you can have a repeatable and improvable results in software engineering so once you are predicted it then definitely you can repeat it then you can improve if required some of the uh, predictive models are waterfall karna waterfall il നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്താ പറയാം വാട്ടർഫാൾ വിൽ സേ ദാറ്റ് എ വെരി പ്രഡിക്റ്റഡ് സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ലൈക്ക് റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഡിസൈൻ സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഡിസൈൻ കോഡിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓർ വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ദെൻ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് കോഡിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓർ വാലിഡേഷൻ ഓർ വെരിഫിക്കേഷൻ വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ടെസ് ദെൻ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ദി ഡിപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓർ വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ടെസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റലേഷൻ and finally it goes into uh, what it goes into deployment the models are waterfall like waterfall with feedback waterfall with the feedback then 
Shashmi model, incremental waterfall, V model, and finally we have a, something called SDLC. So SDLC is a variant of waterfall model. Then Shashmi is a model. Shashmi means it's a kind of uh, fish dish in Japan. Uh, fish specific type of dish basically it's a food item model that is individual requirements will be taken in individual shashmis and shashmis will be repeated mechanism that we will see in the next section we will see that in the predictive model the users don't receive any program until the application is completely finished so once the entire program is completed or finished then only you will get a working product in other model called adaptive model we will have uh, partly working products the major advantages are predictability because you can predict the output of your product then it is stability because there is no changes cost savings once you are already fixed your results or outputs then you can very clearly go into that or you can very clearly specify the, specify the cost then detailed design is possible because there is no change less refactoring because there is no need for refactoring refactoring means uh, splitting the code we call it a splitting the code when changes comes we have to split so here there is no change so we cannot uh, we, need, we need not have a refactoring then bug fixes early because everything is predicted so you can find out if any bugs comes okay we'll fix it into that predictable results then better documentation if everything is available in the first itself you can make the better documents then easy maintenance because everything is defined and everything is clear very clearly documented then it is very easy to maintain so this is the uh, one word uh, explanation for all this for the examination point of view for examination purpose if everything according to plan we know exactly when different stages will occur and when will be finished so what we what according to plan so based on a predicted result we plan everything because we know everything exactly what is to be done when the different state activities will occur and when it will be finished so the output time or, or the completion time can be predicted to a certain extent then stability customers know exactly what they are getting so there is no change then cost savings if design is clear and correct we don't waste a time so time is cost so there is no wastage of time means there is no wastage of cost if we design everything up front because this is everything is predicted and the product has to be delivered in one stretch so everything has to be designed at the beginning itself so again we don't waste time a lot of decision uh, decision during development about decision taking making in all the time we cannot waste then less refactoring adaptive projects tends to require refactoring because a programmer writes some code something later the requirement changes then the code needs to be modified here there is no change so there is no need for any kind of modification so these problems don't occur as often in predictive projects because there is no requirement changes allowed bugs fixes barely if the requirements and re design are correct and complete then there is nothing to fix then we can fix bugs they would have cost later so there is no problems occur if it comes in the design if anything comes wrong or, or went wrong that will be in requirements and design so once the requirements and design are correct when complete then there is nothing to fix on a later time then better documentation this is one of the drawbacks because it requires a lot of documentation because everything is done in the first itself that needs documented 
this documentation helps new people to understand the project in a better way so this is another advantage this is one part is a disadvantage and the other part is an advantage because you have to write a lot of time for documentation and the second is this documentation gives an advantage for people new people to understand the project the ec maintenance because it creates an elegant design which is consistent so it is easy to maintain so when you are getting an elegant design that is you are getting a good design and which is consistent because it, it does not change no changes no changes that is called consistent everything every, every place it looks the same so there is no changes and good design so definitely such a such a system can be maintained very easily then disadvantage inflexible it just because thinking that the requirements won't change they won't do it about endana flexibility illa ennalladana etto pradhana prashnam that we have already discussed because no changes allowed changes allowed anengil mathrame it will become flexible then basically a predictive model is a gamble that requirements won't change too much there is no not much changes in the requirement the lack of flexibility also means that it cannot take advantage of new opportunities if new changes comes you cannot incorporate it in some events a new easier way to display sales report it won't be able to take advantage of it this is only an example or pudhiya methodology vechittu namukku or report generate cheyan pattu nundengil nammal already cheythu poyadanengil engil design cheythu poyadanengil you cannot make any changes adhe samayam mattulla adaptive mechanism thilokke endu cheyan pattu we can change it then later later initial release so the product will first come out when it is completely finished complete at finish in the samayath mathrame or product porthu varuthullu so there is no intermediate releases big up front design ellam aadyam thanne cheyanam need to define everything up front in the beginning itself up front means in the beginning you have to do it in the beginning cannot start development until you know everything that is going need to go എന്തൊക്കെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളത് ആദ്യം തന്നെ നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കണം ഡെവലപ്മെന്റിന്റെ മുമ്പ് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിരിക്കണം കനോട്ട് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് അണ്ടിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഓൾ ദ നോക്സ് ആൻഡ് കോർണേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ അതായത് നിങ്ങൾ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന ആപ്ലിക്കേഷനെ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റത്തുള്ളൂ നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റത്തുള്ളൂ ദ മീൻ സം ടീം മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് വർക്കിംഗ് പ്രോപ്പർലി വൈ അതേഴ്സ് വിൽ ബസ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഓൺ റിക്വയർമെന്റ്സ് ഇത് വേറൊരു പ്രോബ്ലം ആണ് അത് ഓർഗനൈസേഷണൽ പ്രോബ്ലം ആണ് അതായത് കുറച്ച് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യും മറ്റുള്ള കുറച്ച് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാതിരിക്കും so in short these are the advantages and disadvantages idu ningalku pettana vaaikkan vendittu onnu ezhudirikkunnu nalladhe ullu the same thing is written here so i think you can read it okay you read it i will post it you read it i will post this as presentations i will give time for that uh, it generates working products quicker than the adaptive model കാരണം അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് മോഡലിൽ പലപ്പോഴും പലതരത്തിലുള്ള ചേഞ്ചസ് വരുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഈസി ആയിട്ട് മാനേജ് റിസ്ക് റിസ്കുകൾ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഈസിയാണ് കാരണം നമുക്ക് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് റിസ്കുകളൊന്നും ഉണ്ടാവുന്നില്ല ബിക്കോസ് എവറിങ് വി പ്ലാൻഡ് ഇൻ ദി ഫേസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് കാരണം ദ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ഒബ്സ്റ്റക്കിൾസ് ആർ ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹാൻഡിൽഡ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ആദ്യം ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ നമ്മളിതിൻ്റെ ഡിസൈനും അതിൽ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റും അതുപോലുള്ള പ്ലാനിങ് ഒക്കെ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ വി വിൽ എവറിങ് ഇസ് ഡൺ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഈസിയർ ടു ടെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡീപ് ടൂറിംഗ് ആക്ട്രേഷൻസ് ഓ സ്മോളർ പീസസ് ദാൻ ഇൻ ഫുൾ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈസിയർ ടു ടെസ്റ്റ് and debug during iterations of smaller pieces than on the full product pashi ibada endha sambhavikkya nu paranjal nammalde stage by stage aanu endha nu parayunnathu ee smaller pieces ennu parayunnathu because we have defined the activities like this on a sequence the model allows more flexibility as changes to scope and requirements may be made to every increment every increment uh അപ്പോൾ അത് മോഡൽ അലൗസ് മോർ ഫ്ലെക്സിബിലിറ്റി എപ്പോഴാണ് 
changes to scope and requirements may be to every increment. This is what we are saying. This is where we context. This is what Normally, it is inflexible. But within this, we are flexible. Within this, we are flexible. Once we have planned, a plan in the same time, we flexibility. But after that, we don't have any kind of flexibility. Uh, then the more disadvantages, the model requires good planning and design. Totakatile, nalla planning and design um ondangile patatolo. If tasks are not properly done in each phase, the entire project will be impacted. So in any one of this phases having any kind of problems, single the project uh, uh, impact a padam. A clear and complete definition of the whole system is re required before it can be broken down and built incrementally. Ningal kithi chayam. Broke yam, increment yam, ellan chayam. Pashe, adhir endu vendi vidim. Clear and complete definition of the whole system is required. Adhir totally big canvas picture ningal da gai le pojo undavna. Total system ningal da gai le pojo undavna. Additional efforts are required to integrate such individual components of the system. So, if you have the individual components, you can integrate it with a little bit. Then, if you want to use the UCM, you can ask questions about the three marks. You can ask questions about the three questions. You can ask questions about the three questions. One, when the requirements are clear, can be implemented in a logical phases, even though some details may evolve with the time. Okay, changes may come, but changes are not clear. The requirements are clear right on the angle. The clear requirements on the angle, you can implement it in logical phases. The logical phase logical phase means the differentiated phases on the phase of the phase of the if there are some high risk features and goals or when the product call for new technology appo ningalku high risk undu ennu thonunu allengil high risk features undu risk koodalana okay adu eduthal chala prashnangal varam allengil adinte goals inna goal satisfy cheyumbol there may be some kind of problems unexpected problems comes ennokka ningalku chindikkunnundengil adalla ee product inoru pudhiya uh, technology vendi varunu create and the existing uh, existing technology konda idine cheyan pattunnilla ennundengil inginulla situations varuganengil we can go for a predictive model then when client needs clarity on strict adherence to target delivery adhe onnigil and end date time based on the agreed upon scope. If it is strict adherence to clarity, Karnam per client parayana, any king in a madi, I want it in this form. I want it in this form. Definitely, what you have to do. I want it in this form. So definitely what you have to do, you have to stick on to this. That is, you have to be very predictive. That is, the result of the output strict adherence to the user. And the user is saying your end date. Okay, in a date in Rulil Kittanam. In a in a sangadigal matram madi. Scope defines what needs. What needed. Ningalda project will end the kundagam. In the parayinda thana, either the parayinda the scope and the number parayinda. So, e scope will e time in Udlil, Ningal Katharan Petimo, Taranam. Anganulla situation manual predictive model of Vakam Petam. There are some success factors for this on the user involvement. Uh, users help define requirements, they are more likely to be correct. Users in a kunda, Ningala, the user ne involve Jaichal, Ningalde. Uh, predictive models uh, success out. Then, clear vision. In the customer, in the world, clear right, manisilakial. Definitely, it will stay on track. Then, you can see the good So, it should be clear vision. Then, limited size. 
A small a small size helps the customers and team members see the whole picture all at once. Requirements won't have time to change. Requirements change a change at the with a cherry team um Irikanam Anganeanangil. This is a success. Then if the team is very well experienced, experienced team members are less likely to design something they cannot build. They know. They won't wander off writing code that doesn't work out. This experienced person is a matra or a pratega. They write only working codes. That's experience. Then realistics. If the users ask for certain things, uh, example, telephonic user interface. Uh, then I want to do a, uh, I guess what I want to do module and the ability to product predict tomorrow's lotto numbers in a core experience in the now the lottery number at the IRIKIM other telephonic interface where you get to them in the copper and the car the carrying learner so always your requirement should be realistic then establish the technology if you are using an already understood and available technology, then definitely your project will be a success. Then failure comp failure factors. I think there is does not require any kind of uh, big explanations. One is incomplete requirement. If, 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 if the requirement is incomplete, you cannot do anything. Your, your product, your predictive model will be a failure. Then you have unclear requirements. If they develop the requirement is unclear, then definitely you cannot do anything. Then changing requirements. If your requirement changes, I'm already parachu, and then no changes allowed, then no resources. Resource scarcity one. Resource lab. When you have a clear requirement and a perfect design, a single programmer cannot write a thousand line code per week, ten thousand lines per week. That is, ningal ka ningal the requirement clear anangil, ningal the time clear anangil, ningal the schedule clear anangil. You know how much resource is required. Our resource galle yivada kudu tiri kena. Our resource galle kudu tiri anangil. Definitely your product will be a failure. Then next is an adaptive model. Adaptive model means it enables to change product's goal if necessary during the development. Development went in the summit, like development the summit, then the project and the change, like change of goals. We simply we can call it change of requirement or requirement change. We call it as requirement change. Now the project and the requirement change, you know, in the EMPTM, we have to incorporate. Periodically reevaluate and decide whether need to change the direction. Direction means any requirement change comes or not. Requirements changes one tondo illio in the periodically no kanam. Periodically no kita adina vendana changes in the muka Then we cannot say that an adaptive model is always a better than a predictive one. Uri kill in the muka parayam petatilla adaptive model and a predictive model nakal nalla in the muka uri kill in parayam petilla. Karnandan the chella applications in a predictive models better iricum. Chella in a adaptive models iricum better it to Adaptive models are designed to iterate rapidly on projects that are a little more experiment or less certain. Apo, unclear requirements on the angle or changing requirements on angle. Namukka edileka design kundu vam betum. Adaptive model leka kundu vam betum. This approach is sometimes referred to as free from software design. Free from software design. It is a design specific. Predictive is software design specific. As it offers an incredible flexibility. Design model. 
promoting adaptive planning and evolutionary development when the end goal is not quite as concrete karnam ningalde end goal change cheyyam end goal change cheyyam ennalladu konde thanne endana it is incredibly flexible this is incredibly flexible so anything that can change in between it adaptive model lets periodically re whether it needs to change the direction idu onnu koodi njan purposefully ezhuthiyadana kaaranam endanachal the major objective of adaptive model is reevaluation and change of direction if needed aavashyam undengil change of direction adhayathu modification namakku kondu varan pattanam idu it follows a cycle called speculation means okay ingane aayirikkam then collaborate collaboration then collaborate with the people and learn things so speculate what is what can happen based on that you develop or collaborate your process and learn that whether it is possible whether it is executing in the way that you are specify or if any changes required changes required incorporate the changes so finally predictive models work 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 well when the project is relatively small we know exactly what you need to do and the time scale is short enough that the requirement won't change during the development so adaptive development endu parayunnathu ഈ പ്രഡിക്റ്റീവിൽ പറയുന്നതിന് നേരെ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ആണ് വലിയ പ്രോജക്റ്റുകൾക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാം എക്സാക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എന്താണ് അറിയേണ്ടത് എന്നില്ല ടൈം സ്കെയിൽ ആകുകയുമാകാം ആകാതിരിക്കുകയുമാകാം കാരണം ഷോർട്ട് ടേം പ്രോജക്ട്സും ലോങ് ടേം പ്രോജക്ട്സും നമുക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് മോഡൽ വെച്ച് ചെയ്യാം ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് നമ്മൾ അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് മോഡലിലേക്ക് നമുക്ക് എത്തുന്നത് ഇതിൻ്റെ മേജർ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് ഇവോൾവിങ് റിക്വയർമെൻസ് നെ നമുക്ക് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും നമുക്ക് ഇവോൾവിങ് റിക്വയർമെൻസിനെ ഇവോൾവിങ് ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് റിക്വയർമെൻസ് ആൻഡ് വെരി ഈസിലി ഗിവൺ ഇൻ എ ഷോർട്ടർ പ്ലാനിങ് സൈക്കിൾ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ പ്ലാനിങ് സൈക്കിൾസ് വെച്ചിട്ട് അതിനെ സ്പ്രിൻസ് എന്നാണ് വിളിക്കുക ചെറിയ ചെറിയ പ്ലാനിങ് സൈക്കിൾസ് വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇതിനെ ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്തെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും അതായത് വെൻ എവർ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചസ് റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ഉണ്ടായാൽ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് എ ഷോർട്ടർ പ്ലാനിങ് സൈക്കിൾ ഈ ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനനുസരിച്ചുള്ള ഒരു പ്ലാനിങ് സൈക്കിൾ എടുക്കാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് എ സ്പ്രിൻറ്റ് എൻകറേജസ് കസ്റ്റമർ സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ഷൻ ത്രൂ ഫാസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഡെലിവറി ഇതാണ് പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു സംഗതി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഡെലിവറി ബിഫോർ ദിസ് ഇതിനോട് ചേർത്തിട്ട് വായിക്കേണ്ട ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ and then continuous delivery so you are continuously developing part in part in parts and integrating those parts and then you are delivering it to the customer so whenever you are developing one part that is integrated with the previous one and deliver to the customer adaptive development encourages active involvement and direction from the key project holders that is called key project holders in the sense users are involved in your development and the product to build based on priority and accuracy so once the users are in you can have high priorities and so priorities can be fixed and based on that accurately your project can do, your product can be delivered planning can be in doubt disadvantages planning can be in doubt there is no specific saying that you cannot have a plan because plan can change when the requirement change plan can change but the problem is if the team members should be highly skilled and cross skilled and core teams are small so whoever available they should have high skills on specific level end of the project then cross skilled they should know how to handle cross problems the project can easily get thrown out of track if the customer is not clear on decide the final outcome so at least the developer ka 
ഫൈനൽ ഔട്ട്കം ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൂടിയും ഇതുങ്ങളുടെ കസ്റ്റമർക്ക് എന്ത് വേണം കസ്റ്റമർക്ക് ഒരു കൃത്യമായ വ്യൂ വേണം വാട്ട് ഹി നീഡ്സ് പക്ഷെ അതിനുള്ളിൽ ചേഞ്ചസ് ആകാം ദാൻ എപ്പോഴാണ് ഇത് ഉപയോഗിക്കുക ദ എൻ ഗോൾസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോജക്ട്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് ക്ലിയർലി ഡിഫൈൻഡ് അറിയാം പക്ഷെ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഡിഫൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട്സ് ഫാസ്റ്റർ ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് നടക്കും കാരണം എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഒരു ചെറിയ പാർട്ട് കൊടുത്താൽ തന്നെ അത് യൂസർക്ക് വർക്ക് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാൻ പറ്റും so for large and dynamic projects with quickly evolving requirements requirements it makes no sense to follow the process of predefining requirements in minute detail appo requirements in minute detail like nammal kondu pogilla adinu pagaram nammal endu cheyana a evolving adayda dynamic requirements aayta nammal edukana when projects for when the project call for experimental software design ഒരു എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സിലേക്ക് വരുമ്പോഴും നമുക്ക് ഏതെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും നമുക്ക് ഈ അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് പ്രോസസ്സ് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും ദോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദി കമ്പാരിസൺ ഓഫ് യുവർ അഡാപ്റ്റീവ് മോഡൽ ആൻഡ് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് മോഡൽ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫേസസ് ഓവർലാപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ഇവിടെ പാരലൽ ആകാം സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ ആകാം ഓവർലാപ്പിംഗ് ആകാം ഹൈ ലെവൽ പ്ലാനിങ് ഓക്കെ വേണം രണ്ടിലും വേണം ഹൈ ലെവൽ സ്കോപ്പ് രണ്ടിലും വേണം detailed planning predictive every stage it requires ivide or iteration ne mathram madiyagum when to use adu nammala valare krithyamayitta rendu salangal rendu eduthum pratheyam pratheyam paranjittunde eppozhakkana vendadanna involvement of customer scope change cheyyanengil mathram ivide customer madiyagum adhe samayam ivide continuous aayitta avarude presence aavashyamana so this is the one section of our uh, project if you have any doubt you please contact me thank you